Hello, guys and gals, and welcome to Dead Rising. Chop till you drop, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dead Rising on nothing other than the Nintendo Wii. Ladies and gentlemen, I think a lot of us know what Dead Rising is. I think a lot of us have seen what Dead Rising is. It's Capcom's biggest zombie... Well, Resident Evil is a big zombie game. I don't even know what the fuck Resident Evil is anymore. Zombies, infected, but ghosts, but... <laughs> But Dead Rising is one of their premier zombie-killing escapade simulators, whatever you want to call it. Basically, the game involves you, Frank West, running around a mall, uh, rescuing survivors and uncovering a grand conspiracy, all within a set time limit before everything gets nuked to fucking hell. Ladies and gentlemen, it's one of the best launch games, I think you could say. It wasn't a launch game, I think it came around the time the Xbox 360 launched. And uh, ever since then, it's gone on strong. It released on the Wii, it released on the fucking phones, like Apple phones, for God's sakes. We'll look at that version too. And it even came out just recently on the PC, PS4, and the Xbox One, before it used to be like a total 360 exclusive. But ladies and gentlemen, this is Dead Rising on the Wii. All right, so a game that took full, a game that really pushed the 360 to, a, to its limits with like hundreds of fucking zombies on the screen. How the fuck is a Wii gonna handle all that? Well, we're here to find out, aren't we? So if you go to options real quick, the interesting thing about this, which I don't think is on the Xbox, which I just wanted to show you, it's got all the standard bullshit, but it's got a blood setting, ladies and gentlemen. It's got red, green, and off. I think we're gonna set it to green blood at high. You know, wait, keep it a green, damn it. And keep it at high. I don't know why I want to keep green blood. I have a strange fetish for green blood. No, I don't, but let's hit new game and see what this is all about. Now, you get to pick easy, normal, or hard, which I don't think you could actually pick on the original Dead Rising. I think basically what you got to pick was, uh, I'm trying to remember. I think it was just like 72 hour mode, or like if you beat the game, you could pick like a harder nightmare mode or whatever. Uh, we're gonna go to normal, alright? And we could go to hard, <laughs> because frankly, you're gonna see just why. So instead of actually playing through the first section of Dead Rising, uh, on the 360 you would like take photos and shit. Here you, you don't you don't take photos. The, the Wii can't handle that. Okay, all right. It's, it's got its limits. Now one of the cool things about the Wii is that uh, is wait is it using pre is it rendering 360 like footage like is it just render 360 stuff or do they tone down the graphics even for the cutscenes? That would be kind of stupid. I don't think they did. Wait, did they? No, I don't think they did. I don't think. I think it's just really shitty quality. Uh, it's just a, it's just a pre-rendered FMV is what it is. But we've all seen the intro. Let's get to the fucking zombie action. So there we go. September 19, 2006. Man, this game is this game is old, dude. Vintage, man. I feel I feel old playing this game right now. And I played Commandos for this channel for God's sakes. That game came out before I was even born. Or was it? I don't know. Uh, you're the reporter, yes I am, that is Carlito, our, uh, our lad. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Fucking Dead Rising. But here it is, ladies and gentlemen, in all its 480p glory. Dead Rising, chop till you drop. Now, I'll be honest with you, as far as beginning it, and I play the 360 version, it looks pretty damn fucking good compared to the 360 well it looks it, it's not like better than it but it's pretty good here let's talk to this lad now it's running on the re4 engine uh for the wii which is one of the most played fucking games that i had uh most played wii games that i own actually is re4 i played that game like five times on the original wii dude that's probably the best way to play that game really with all of its controls so here we go we got the standard saving mechanic uh this is before the days of fucking autosave this game was hardcore man this game was pretty difficult too. I remember that, man. Like I've, I've never finished like Dead Rising one at all. Like, like the furthest I've gotten actually, uh, is this. Like I remember back when I had a Wii, I would play the ever loving shit out of this game. I played it up to like chapter four until like to a point where I just ran around killing zombies. And frankly, by that point, I got like Twilight Princess on the Wii, so Dead Rising was fucking gone. But I play this version more than the fucking 360 version. <laughs> Imaru, I know, the fucking bastard, actually finished this version of the game on the Wii. So I gotta ask him for his full fucking blessing on what it is. Now, unlike the uh, 360, if you've noticed, these levels are small as fuck, all right? Before, uh, these would be, this would be like a whole level. We're like cutting in between, so let's progress the story and shit and just see where the, where the Zambles are at. Here, what's up? What's over here? We're gonna trigger a little cutscene. Man, dude, it's like scaling this up to a fucking 4K TV is not the ideal way of playing this fucking game, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you that. Holy shit. Is everything blown up? Like, you can, you can see, you can see all of the upscaling, dude. 
All right, so I think as far as the story goes, I have to go this way, if I'm not mistaken? I think, yeah, I think it is this way. I'm trying to see where it is to get to the zombies. Now, one thing if you notice, though, the HUD is kind of missing, really. Uh, we'll get to it eventually, don't worry. So I think I'll probably work my way up to the Carlito boss fight or something and just see where it goes from there. This is Dead Rising. Now, oh, get away, get away, goddammit, stay away. Shit, all the survivors die. This f no. I always felt bad at this part, too, because I thought I could save the survivors, but you really couldn't. So, compared to the 360 version, see how the zombies are fading in? Oh my god. Comparing this to the 360 version, <laughs> it's not comparable. The 360 version would have, like, a ton of zambles in this part. Here, you don't really get a lot of zambles, alright? Here, the zambles are pretty fucking barren to begin with. Now, the way I play Dead Rising, I gotta find, like, one melee weapon and just beat the ever-loving shit out of them. Yeah, there's more zombies that fucking show on, on the FMV than there is actually. That's a lie, alright? That's it's nothing but a lie, let's be honest here. Huh? Alright, I think this is where the... We're just gonna skip through the story stuff, we don't need to worry about that. Alright, so... Why are you, how are you holding the gun there, dude? Alright, so here's Otis. He's gonna give us all this, uh, he's gonna give us a transceiver, the mall map, and we're gonna go in and we're gonna find some shit. There are survivors left in the mall, but they won't last on on their own. Could you go and get them and then bring them to the security room? Alright, no, we got this. We got this. There's a lost man and woman just on the other side of the air duct. Why don't you start by bringing those two back? Okay. Alright, yeah, I know this one. I think everyone has fucking done this if you played the first Dead Rising. Alright, go through it. Love lasts a lifetime. Uh, there's a man and a woman on the roof. Um, as far as I know, you do actually, you do still get to explore the entirety of Willamette Mall. Um, but it, but like, again, it's so barren in comparison to how you should play this game, which is on any other system, but really the Wii and the cell phones. Uh, but the thing is, is like, if you had a Wii back then, like, it's pretty impressive how they got this game still running on the Wii. Like, that's, that's dedication, dude. Have you seen my wife, Natalie? She should still be around. Oh, I know where she is. She's gonna be all the way on the other side of this place. Y'all were just too fucking lazy to find this shit. Now, the weird thing is, is that they have timers in this. Now, I don't know if the Wii version actually has a 72-hour mode where time actually legit counts down because we have not seen the clock yet. Remember that, ladies and gentlemen. So, honestly, this could be a much easier version of Dead Rising. I don't exactly know. But uh, yeah, come this way, ladies and gentlemen. Follow me here. All right, join bonus. We got a thousand PP. That's yeah, fair enough. <laughs> All right, let's go over this, man. I'm a fucking child. <laughs> Goddamn, follow me this way. Uh, wait, let me pick up this. Uh, let me pick this weapon up. So you do get to pick up, you know, random weapons to kill shit with. Uh, wait, where's this boy at? Hey, buddy. Yes, there we go. The, we we reunited. We reunited the love at last. Thank Lord for this. This is what I always love about Dead Rising, anyways. It's just like. The, out of the whole zombie experience, it's just so much fun to play these games and like just not only embroil, or embroil yourself in the story, but like actually get into the, what, the, what the gameplay is. Uh, can we kill the love for a second? We need to get the fuck. Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, oh, that's vintage. Every time you swipe, you hear the sound. Oh my god, that is so vintage. Oh my god. That's, oh my lord. Dude, the last time I heard my Wii make a sound like that was like, oh my god! Dude, that's so beautiful! <laughs> what the fuck is this? I didn't even know that! God damn it! <laughs> I didn't know back then, I would just have it off, I didn't know it had the cringiest fucking sound effect, right? Why am I getting so excited on that? Holy shit! Dude, you didn't even get- What? You giving me a shock? 10 grand and a shotgun for saving two old people? Dude, this is not how I remember it. What is this game? God damn it. <laughs> I can't- I, I don't know- I don't know why I'm getting so affected by the- by the swoosh effect. It's just so weird. It's like, why? Why- why is that happening? <laughs> Dude, this is- well, I mean, it definitely is, like, the same map. It's just- I don't see a zombie, dude. I don't see the zombies. Wait, let's go. Oh my god. Can't, dude. It's so dumb. <laughs> what fucking why? Alright, here we go. Wait a minute. Let me actually get a kill for God's sake. Oh my god, it looks like they're fucking Nickelodeon slime samples, dude. <laughs> wow, they're really dropping ammo, too. Jesus. No way, sir. 
So you can clearly tell why this game is on the on the easy path, because like, ladies and gentlemen, there are no zombies on the screen. You could like stay away and that'd be pretty much it. Now one thing if you're noticing by the way is that there's a lot of twin day in the mall here. Alright, dude. Oh my god, these zombies are just fucking melting, dude. It's like it's like a thousand degree knife videos versus zombies, dude. I'm just cutting through these motherfuckers. Thank you so much. I'd been a goner without you, Pamela. You were tanking it. Don't don't even don't don't. Alright, you 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 were clearly not in any threat, was I was witnessing. <laughs> oh my god, dude. The green blood makes it even better! It's so good! It's like it's so it's such a bad version of Dead Rising! But it's so beautiful how they have it running on this. Like, you have no idea. Like, like I, here's the thing. I don't play these games to just, like, rip on them. I think if you're ripping on a Wii or, like, console for not matching Xbox 360, you're kind of high. Okay? I'm just saying. But, like, it's so beautiful, though. It's so, I wonder if I can wear this. Hey, Heather, wake up. Come on. We gotta get out of here. Don't get your panties in a bunch. <laughs> Fucking prank, dude. Fucking Frank. It's so wonderful. Like, I don't play these games to rip on them, you know? Like, that's, that's, you know, you can make a joke here and there. It's impressive how it's available on this system, I must say. Like, I really do like this. I really do appreciate this. Hold on, wait, let me... No! <laughs> so in the end. <laughs> He's so dumb. <laughs> wait a minute. Uh, shit. Frank is fucked up right now, dude. Fucking Frank is fucked right now. Wait a minute. No. No. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh, wasted. Oh my god, they're really dropping a lot of shit, dude. 500 dolans? How the, how the fuck do zombies have 500 dolans? Now, I love how you can't hear the boom from the shotgun come out, you know? Like, like you don't hear that, but you hear the, you hear the like, you hear the chucking of it, right? Oh my god, Frank, you are Frank as fuck. I need to find a, I need to find some food place, like, really. Holy shit, I cannot die right now. No! Damn it, I fuck... I mentioned the word I cannot die right now, and you know what fucking happens? I fucking die. I fucking die. <laughs> I fucking suck at this game, dude. Retry from a continue point? What? Whoa, that's very forgiving of you, by the way, Dead Rising. It was definitely not this forgiving on the 360 version. Alright, there we go. Shotgun truly clears life for me, honestly. Like, I'm glad they give you the shit early on, but I will say one thing, the inventory system's a little bit off with this game, just because, like, on the 360, you would basically have, like, uh, you would have, like, slots, right, where you could, like, put all your healing items and your, and your weapons into. Here, you almost, it almost seems like you, you don't, you don't do that. You, you have your guns that are there, like, completely, and that's it. Like, you can put them into slots, like, whatever. But, uh, I think that's because of the fact that the game is kind of sectioned off. It's not, like, free roaming, I guess you could say. Like the three, uh, like the 360, PS4, Xbox One, PC versions are. Like, though, though, that game is, like, fully open world, I guess you could say, in the, in the grand scheme of things. Where is she? Like, I keep calling them over here. They do not follow you as much as you spam the plus key. Uh, okay, yeah, let's take you to a safe place, by the way. There we go. So I got Heather uh, Tomkin again. This time I do not want to die by zombies. That's for damn sure. All right. Uh, I got to bring her over here. So, like, she's got to fucking fall. Oh, no. I'm running out of ammo so hard. Fuck. I can't reload. All right. So I'm, I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo. Shit, man. I've been picking up rifle ammo. Why the fuck would I need rifle ammo? Right. For at least for now. Because I don't even have a rifle, dude. Come on, Dead Rising. Yeah, you gotta step up the game there. She is getting fucking destroyed there. She... Let me tell you, the AI in this game, like... The survivors on the on the main on the main game are, like, way more useful. Okay, they're both here. They're both... Fucking stay away from me, damn it. Like, there's not a lot of zombies on the Wii version, okay? There's, like, less of them, but there are more aids to deal with, let me tell you. And the survivors, I don't know what they have, but they don't like me, or they don't want to follow me, and that's really fucking it. Or at least for now, they do. So come on this way, come on this way, please come on this way. There you go. Oh my god. This game is fucking... This game is... This game is a treat, let me tell you. <laughs> god damn it. Alright, we got the fire extinguisher. Whoa. Wait a minute. So, now that I pick up the fire extinguisher, how does this work? Yeah, you just equip these, uh, these weapons like that. What? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm confused. I am I am genuinely distraught by this, uh, by this scheme. So if I press 2... Oh yeah, it just takes me to the options. Interesting. Um, I wonder how you switch to the, uh, to the shotgun from here. Huh. Follow that, me. I do not know. 
All right, well, whatever. We'll figure that out later. Um, well, they gave a tutorial. I just didn't read the tutorial, to be honest. All right, let's go this way. I really hope they don't have zombies. They don't have zombies in here. Thank Lord for that. I can't just go on by myself. On. Are you all coming? Okay, there you go. Yeah, they really need to be, like, stuck up to your ass hairs for, for this game to register as them being close. I can only imagine the very delicate parts of rescuing survivors in this game is not going to be easy. But right now, as far as Dead Rising goes, it seems more of a linear Dead Rising experience, which, like, if this is the only way you can play the game, I think you're kind of doing yourself a little disservice because you're not really getting the full experience. But I got Heather Tompkins, and, uh, well, yeah, I got all these people over here. Did I, uh, I B-ranked that shit. Holy crap, dude. There are times where you don't get anything for all your hard work, Frank. You should just have a beer and forget about it. Well, thank you, Otis. But you gave me protein, so I did get something for it. And ten grand, dude. God damn, you... T ten grand! God damn you, Frank. Where are you pulling this money out of your ass? Dude, Otis is fucking rich. God, I just realized. So, like, let me see. You save the game, it gives you prologue mission clear. Huh. So, like, this game seems... Not really Dead Rising-ish, you know? A lot of people gave a lot of shit to the fourth game for getting rid of a time limit. This game completely forgets it ever had one. I wonder if the game will lag if I if I use... Uh, hold on. I wonder if I can leave without doing a mission. Wait a minute. Oh, I totally can! Okay, that's... Thank Lord for that, ladies and gentlemen. Thank fucking Lord I can leave the, leave the game and explore to my own leisure. So, comparing this to the 360 version... Right now, I can tell you, I have not seen one watch yet, and I have not had a mention of time going away. In fact, let me check if that's even a gameplay concept here. It should be somewhere in... Well, clearly, I don't have a case file or anything either, so I don't know what's going on here. But except I have little side quests, player level, hmm. notebook. It might be in your notebook, right? No, it's not in your notebook. No, no, no. Huh. So, as far as I can see, ladies and gentlemen, you're allowed to free roam without any constraints of a time limit in this game, really. So, huh, that is very interesting how they decided to go down that route. Holy shit. Alright, I got an apple, I got an orange, I got a cabbage. I really don't want to remember that meme video, but it's coming back to my head. Uh, go over here and, yeah, oh my god. This is, uh, huh. This is a really weird version of Dead Rising. I came into this video expecting a poor version of it, really, like, visually, but gameplay-wise, it's even different as hell anyways. So, right now, the guide arrow is telling me to go... No, wait, the guide arrow was telling me to go back to the main room? No, go this way. Oh my god, I will never get over that. Oh my god, dude. That is something, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you. Will the zombies spawn now? No, they don't spawn now either. They usually spawn in the elevator, ready to fuck me in the ass, let me tell you. Huh, they haven't even spawned here. I mean, the map is all the same, as far as I can tell, which shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, Willamette Mall was never that big of an environment anyways. Um, but it is impressive how, it's, how it exists onto this. I think this is where you see the B, really. Uh, Carlito? Is there going to be a Carlito fight? Oh no, you just meet the uh, characters over here. So you got Case 1, and you got Case 2-2. Two, two. The case panels lead you to the truth of the zombie incident. When you encounter a key event, a new panel opens, taking you one step closer to the truth. Understandable. All right. You can check the status. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, and I got a handgun. Now, again, there is no time limit. So is this just a free roam Dead Rising game with no stresses or anything? That is certainly interesting. I don't even think the original Dead Rising has that shit. Huh. But anyways, we're gonna go to Carlito, I assume, right here. So, Carlito, the boss fight, is now kicking in, so let's work our way through here. Uh, finally, without any, like, is, uh, people trying to, without trying to save anybody. I haven't even leveled up, too. Shit, I gotta level up first. <laughs> I see how this game handles levels, too. Because in the first game, when you level up, it just gives you, like, a skill increase. You don't even get to control it. So here we got the, uh, we got the ever-lovely, uh, boss battle between us and the, uh, <laughs> the lovely Carlito. I'm gonna switch to our, uh, pistol, by the way, and try to take this dude out. Uh, where is my, uh, ammunition over there? I'm not really getting any handgun ammo, to be honest. I mean, not handgun ammo, shotgun ammo, which uh, I could desperately use, because that shotgun is overpowered. Now, unfortunately, I did not level up yet. I think I might be able to level up after this battle. If I can only find Carlito first. Oh, Carlito's tossing fucking shit at me. Damn it! Oh, I forgot. I totally, like, I forgot. I do suck with the, uh... No, don't shoot me, damn it. No! Oh my god, Carlito, you fucker asshole. I just shot you right in the neck. You'd be, you'd be responding to that shit. 
Wow, he's. It seems like there's no. Ah, no, I got him. I got him. I got Carlito. Damn, Carlito's a fucking tank, dude. Now, the interesting thing is he's not. Wow, you even hear the reload sounds. What the fuck? Now, unfortunately, I don't see Carlito going up at all, which I believe he actually started up on the second floor of the uh, of the game, which, huh, is weird. Wait, what is this? Motherfucker, how, how'd you teleport right up there? Carlito, you fucking, what, what are you, Nightcrawler? What the fuck? This dude just straight up gets up there without even telling us. The game didn't even spawn him at the top. Frank, why are you not asking questions? And that is the end of another case file. Oh my fucking god. And we leveled up. How's the level up go? Sub weapon attack increase. So it is the same kind of level up system going on. Uh, leveling up by getting PP, filling your gauge, you can level up. And by leveling up, you gain the abilities. These abilities will help you progress through the game. Fair enough. All right. I think the abilities are even slightly different too. Huh. Uh, but it's almost like I don't know if I can give weapons to my survivors, which it honestly feels like, to be honest, I would not be able to recommend this game. And it's not because graphics, it's just because the game doesn't, like, I mean, sure, it's Dead Rising, but it doesn't feel like the Dead Rising experience, surely. Right, let's go this way. Uh, this is the outside area, I guess you could say. Uh, well, I mean, the map is there. The map is fully realized, I, I, I suppose. There's a propane tank? By shooting it with your gun? Oh my god, I can't wait to see the Wii explosion, please, god. That was ripped straight out of RE4, and you fucking know it, let me tell you. I don't know what the money is used for, though. That's an interesting thing. Oh my god, that poodle's just... Holy shit, that's a big-ass poodle, dude. Alright, poodle defeated, 600 PP. Right, let's work our way out of here. I've only got, like, fucking 50 zombie kills, too. Unfortunately. I mean, it is the same map. It's just, like, the zombies have decided not to inhabit it. No, stay away from me, doggo. Man, I feel... Feels so weird. <laughs> I think we're headed back. Oh, there's a chainsaw. Yes. Yes. I wonder if this has the uh, the sound effects, the coveted sound effects. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm about to hear it. I'm about to hear it, aren't I? All right. Uh, I'm just going to skip the cutscenes. The cutscenes really aren't important to this uh, as far as the experience. We all know they're just 360 rendered stuff, but I just need to hear if this, for God's sakes, uh, what's this? Otis is like, Frank, right now you're in the entrance plaza. It looks like you could, uh, you got the shutter open if you want to change into some fresh duds. Alright, blah, blah, I, I get it. Please, please, God. No, it doesn't have that. No! You fuck. you could've, you could've made this the greatest experience ever by having a discount shitty sound effect, but you didn't. God damn it. <laughs> no, not having it for all the other stuff, that's fine. But for, for the chainsaw? Nah, we can't do that. I guess it's really chopped till I drop, you know? It almost feels like you're gonna be using a lot of guns in this game rather than melee weapons because the melee weapons aren't even that fun to use, really. I'm level three now, so that's pretty, it's pretty sweet. Wait, oh, is he gonna tell me how to mix stuff? Wait, what, is there, was there a, was there? Oh, dude, they have executions, yes! You got a thousand dollars to execute, that was pretty sweet. Oh my God. Wait, can I, can I, can I shoot the plates off? Oh, I totally can. Oh my god, that's so much PP. Holy shit, that's a lot of fucking PP that I could earn. Wait, let me totally do that. I don't know why I'm doing it, because, uh, because frankly, I'm not going to be playing this version longer than this video. But I'm totally going to do it, because I'm a fucking child when it comes to this game. Oh my god. Oh my lord, dude. I will say one thing, the aiming is actually better on this than it is on the Xbox. That that I will that I will always always stand behind. Alright, what is this? Uh, is this is this a oh fuck me, it's a Molotov cocktail? Dude, what? This game is just handing me all the goodies. God damn. Wait, let me let me try this. Uh Molotovs. Equip. Oh my lord. You're, you're fucking joking. You're jerking me off right now. Oh my god! What the fuck is this? It's just straight up- Wow, that is the weakest Molotov I've seen. Oh my lord. This is a fucking treat. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Dead Rising on the original Wii. Now, at first I walked into this expecting maybe I was going to get some off visuals or something like that, and that was going to be it, but it was going to be the base game, and for the most part it is. But ladies and gentlemen, there seems to be a lot of differences in this game versus other stuff, just because I don't know why, what it is, but ladies and gentlemen, this version of Dead Rising is just, uh, how do I say, it's just... 
It feels very off. It doesn't have the same intense mechanics that the first game had that really made it what it was. And I don't know why they were admitted. It's not like the Wii couldn't handle those mechanics. Uh, the game is a little more simplified. You can pick up weapons, equip them, and it just seems like guns are the way to go in this game rather than just sticking all out to melee. Even the even the melee weapons are a little bit weaker than, uh, than expected. But I think that's all I really have to show you on this, ladies and gentlemen. That was Dead Rising on the Wii. Chop till you drop. Uh, if you're excited, I can even show you the iPad iOS version of the game. But I think I'm going to end it over here. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just like if you dislike it. This is me, Mudahar. And I am out. Mm -hmm.